Emergency personnel, veterans, and Oxford County residents turned out to honor two fallen soldiers. The vigil was held at the Cenotaph in Victoria Park in Woodstock, and many residents wore poppies to remember them. A bagpiper opened the ceremony and people listened as the poem in Flanders Fields was read. Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between our crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks so bravely singing fly. Scarce heard among the guns below, we are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. The vigil was held ahead of Remembrance Day in order to pay respects to Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent and Corporal Nathan Cirillo, who died on home soil. The two soldiers died within days of each other in separate attacks, Vincent being run down by a car in Quebec, and Cirillo of Hamilton losing his life after a gunman shot him while he guarded the National War Memorial in Ottawa. The 24-year-old Cirillo leaves behind a 6-year-old son, Marcus. Local resident and reservist Sean Noon remembers meeting Cirillo on several occasions while stationed in Hamilton. He was an amazing man. One thing I do know is he was he loved his son and he loved his regiment. He was proud to be an Argyle, as they all are. He was proud to wear the colours and he was proud to serve Canada and wear the flag on his shoulder. People who were present at the ceremony bowed their heads during the moment of silence for the men. The Woodstock Royal Canadian Legion put the vigil together and one speaker had this to say. This past week, these events occurred on our own soil, and that is where the difference lies. So we gather informally, perhaps, as we will formally on the 11th of November, to remember service, life given, and lives sacrificed. Woodstock was one of many communities across the country holding vigils for the two soldiers. Following the ceremony, residents took the opportunity to spread flowers and light candles on the steps of the Cenotaph. Lest we forget. For Heart FM News, I'm Megan McFadden.